video. What's up, y'all? This is Wednesday night, and you are live on His 92.3 with Keeping It Real with Lila. And I have two special guests with me here tonight. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Hey, y'all. I'm Brittany. I'm back again. I was the same one last week with the shit. I'm back. <laughs> and our other lovely guest. BJ. Uh-uh. You were so ready to talk. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Um, yes, but tonight we are going to discuss same-sex marriages. Um, I don't know anything about any marriage because I've never been one. <laughs> so I'm going to, you know, listen to y'all because marriage is marriage. is still the foundation or whatever. It still requires work, child. Ex relationships require work. So are you really checking yourself out? <laughs> But, yeah, so relationships require work. And um, we had, like, a brief conversation last week off air, and it was talking about um, gender roles, how there's not gender roles in same sex. She's distracting me with her picture taking right now. So there's no gender roles, well, in y'all marriage, because it might be a different scenario in another same-sex marriage where there is gender roles. So would y'all want to, one of y'all want to take the floor? Feedback off of you. <clears throat> um, yeah, no, we don't do gender roles. We don't do a there's a boy and a girl. We just kind of whoever gets it gets it. Whoever does it does it. Um, it gets was a, what? Just I mean in general. Like, oh, okay. There's no oh well you're you wear the masculine clothes so you need to pay the rent. Right. Like I mean it's just not. I don't believe in that. Even in heterosexual Right, I was finna say, I don't believe in that. But there are legit women who feel like, oh, I live with a man, he need to pay the rent. Or I mean, he yeah, need to I, pay the bills and my money is my money. I think we, that's so fucking yeah, stupid. No, we, don't, we don't feel like that. We was It was a topic today that was talking about uh, we're in a same-sex uh, marriage group, marriage club. Right. And they were talking about, like, you know, studs, do you let your wife do this and this and that? And I'm just kind of like, at the end of the day, we're women. Like, the titles don't really exist in our household. I know I can't speak for other couples, but we don't. There is no, well, she's supposed to do this. She's supposed to do that. I mean, she does. She's very chivalrous. My wife does open doors for me. She does take out the trash when she's home. However, <laughs> it's not something that I expect. It's not something that I require. So, what do you think? Um... I think there are there are a lot of women in our community who do have gender roles. I don't understand why they have it uh, because at the end of the day, like my wife said, we are when you take our clothes off, we are Both two women. women. I do understand that there are uh, some women who are more, I guess, masculine, yeah. and they feel like because they wear the man clothes or because they have the mindset of I'm the man that they have to. I'm the man, I do this, and this is all that you're allowed to do. Now, I feel like the only people we were discussing earlier that that should apply to is if you're transitioning from female to male. Because that's going, in my head, you're now entering the heterosexual community. That's still like a little iffy topic for me. But if you're going from female to male, then that's a whole different ball game. But for just, at the end of the day, if you're still a female and you just so happen to wear men's clothing, I feel like there should not be any gender roles, period, because we're still women. Right. Like, I feel like um, in a heterosexual relationship, I can't say marriage, but relationship, period. I don't think that there should be... Gen I, I can't say stuff like, oh, my man need to take out the trash. I'm not saying you need to do it. You should. If you're not here, I'm not just going to let the trash, you know what I'm saying, sit there or whatever. But I feel like certain things... I don't know. I guess because I've been so independent, it really doesn't make a difference to me. And I think maybe that's like a good thing and a bad thing in a sense with me with dating because I don't require certain things that certain women do require. So do you think that you think of it as a traditional, like back in the 50s and 60s, 60s type for the heterosexual community? Mm. Do, do you think you have that mindset or no? Like you say you've been independent for so long. Like let's say you know, your relationship, and then this man comes along, and he's kind of like, no, this is what I am going to do. You're going to just sit in the house or do whatever. Do you think that you can get accustomed to that? Um, It depends on what it is. 
as far as like you're gonna be the one working and paying all the bills no i will never allow that right. simply because not saying all men are like that but i feel like um it comes it becomes a control factor mm-hmm. and not necessarily saying that that's a bad thing or whatever but if you're not making your own money, I'm not I don't want to have to go to my man every single time I need something. I don't want to have to be like, "Oh, I need tampons today. Can you go buy me some?" Yeah. Like, no. I just, you know, I don't I don't agree with that. Versus I have certain friends and and they're like, "No." You know what I'm saying? Since I was younger, it's like, "Oh, you know, you need to, basically I've never really dated anybody that I can just depend on in that sense." Not necessarily saying that they wouldn't have done it. I just didn't require it or I didn't ask for it or I don't mind if we both live together, we are splitting the rent. Like that's not a big deal to me versus I know I've had conversations with some women and they're like, "No." I'm not paying no rent right. where no man sleep at. Yeah. And I'm just like, but you live there too, you know, especially if you have a child with someone who's not that child's father. So you expect him to pay the rent and for you and your, for you and your child. I don't think that's, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, in a sense where I've had somebody tell me, well, he can pay the rent and you can pay all the other bills in the house. And I'm like, well, if it adds up, then I'll be okay with that. But I'm not just going to not carry my weight in my home because you're the man and I'm a woman and I'm not doing it. Like, no. You know, even in the sense of I've had a conversation with my boyfriend where he feels like, oh, you know, he don't really cook. And I'm like, I'm not used to that because my last two serious relationships, they both cooked. So it was more so like, um, that's not a gender role to me. Because I'm a woman, I'm supposed to get in here and cook every day. That's not fair. Right. Like, yeah, no. Okay. I feel like I should be able to chill some nights. I don't want to have to cook. Yeah. Like, my last relationship, that was an argument. Like, And he was just like, oh, I thought you liked to cook. Oh, I do. I love to. But what the hell make you think I want to get in here mm-hmm. every day after I've been at work all day? I got to come home, do homework, you know, whatever, whatever with my child, and make sure I cook a meal. Yeah. But if you're here already, why didn't you start dinner? Or hell, why you ain't took nothing out? Why? I got to do it. I just, certain stuff is just like, No. I use an example. Most people use an example like take the trash out or it was a conversation um, since all this organ, whatever the fuck, sex trafficking things going on with the gas thing. And it was a lot of men saying, you know, their wives don't have to get gas. It's already they fill it up or whatever the case may be. My mom is like that. She ain't even got no man at home. Well, she yeah, she don't even have no man at home. And she refuses to put gas in her own car. It's like I and then you know, my my um brother and sister's dad is just got her spoiled in the sense of that like she will literally pull up on him for him to go put gas in her car. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you are you. It doesn't make no sense. But it's just, I guess what you're accustomed to yeah. is what you're accustomed to because she was raised like that. But it's like, but all these years, like your father's been gone, so. And I will say that being married to my wife, she's very chivalrous. I've never had to pump my own gas since being together. Like, she automatically, whether she's on the driver's side, passenger side, back seat, she going to get out and pump the gas. Right. And I, I wonder sometimes, I'm like, how did she become so chivalrous? Because she wasn't raised by her father. So, it's right. like she didn't learn these things from seeing a man do that to her mom. Right. So, I think that's kind of like, dang, like, how did you get that way? Yeah, where did that come from? I have no idea. I sit back and think sometimes and I try to figure it out because like I I was raised by my brother's dad. Okay. My, my biological father's not in the picture and um I guess you could call my dad a ladies man. So he never really had one consistent woman in right. the house. But, you know, as a kid I'm not really looking at that, I'm just caring that you feed me, you take care of right. me you, and we Whatever. have our right. daddy daughter thing. But I, I think one day I just woke up and I was like, if I was to be with a man, this is how I would want a man to, to treat, treat me. me. Right. Or I just, or it's not even that, it's just watching TV or listening to other women have conversation about 
you know, the men that they deal with. And it's just kind of like, dang, like, your men don't do that for you? I think, you know, that's something. There are a lot of things that are traditional that I do agree with, and there are some things that I absolutely don't agree with. Right. A man being chivalrous is something that I absolutely agree with. So just listen to conversations, watch the TV, I think I just kind of grow myself to be like, you know, when I'm with my A woman, you know, I'm going to open the door, I'm going to pump the gas. I'm going to pick up the tab. Well, thank you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think I just, I've just really grown them accustomed to it. I think what I don't like, though, is when I open the door for my wife, and the man comes in behind, after me and thinks I'm holding the door for him. I'm not holding the door Ooh, for him. right. I'm holding the door for my wife. Now, what and you can do is grab the door for both of us. Exactly. And it's, right. And, it's normally and some men, generation. right, some men do do that. Yeah. But the it definitely is, the, I was going to say, it's definitely the older men, yeah. not yeah. the younger men. The younger men ain't even thinking about opening no doors in um, the simple small stuff, you know, that it takes to be in a relationship. Yeah. But what I've learned is, it's like, you know, what you require. I'm not going to say, um, I remember when I was younger, like, I said, like, my stepdad, he always, from a little girl, my my sister never had to touch the door. So, I used to be like, she's going to have a hard time dating because Boys men don't do that. Like that. Right, men don't do that. And it was like, and he was just like, I don't care. Like, she's going to meet somebody and she's going to demand that. Right. And I'm just like, yeah, but I don't want her to get her feelings hurt or let down because they ain't doing it. And it was just kind of like, if that's a standard that you have, I guess because me not necessarily requiring so much when it came to dating, it was just like, whatever you do is whatever you do and whatever you don't is whatever you don't. But see, I think that can, I think your needs and requirements can change as from you person get, to right, person. Right. Because you may require, like, for instance, if her and I were to ever separate, God forbid, I now have new requirements that I did not have with Before. my last relationship. Right. Because it wasn't introduced to me or I wasn't used to it. It wasn't my norm. Right. So for me, I've only had <clears throat> a man that was chivalrous like that toward me. But how do you say, how do you go into a relationship and say, well, you need to open my door? Well, again, I think it's, it's okay. So <laughs> if it instance, doesn't come natural, you know, it because it's not going to be, it's not going to be self conscious. If I'm then. dating a woman that's more feminine like myself, of course I'm not going to expect her to do that. Right. To me, we both got a purse. Like, right. You move. I'm supposed to open your door. Right. But if it's a more masculine, and I was going to say that, like, if I was in a married relationship and I had a girlfriend, I would be like the man. Right. Like for <laughs> real. Like the more, <laughs> yeah, the more dominant person. Right. I would yeah. be. And so, I find myself like I'm not. To me, I'm not a traditional wife. Like, I'll cook. I don't like to clean the kitchen. Dishes is not. Like, <laughs> dishes is, and that's where we defer dishes. It's just, I, I had to do dishes so much as a child. Yeah, me they too. They were, like, stacked up. And I lived in a house with mama, brother, husband. It was a lot of us. So the dishes was like, and I'm in there like. Right. So now it's kind of like, babe, I didn't cook you a whole dinner meal. You got lobster, steak, and shrimp. You but you didn't clean it. <laughs> but when it comes to like laundry, I don't have a problem doing that. Making the bed up, vacuuming, I'll do that stuff. So to me, I'm not like a a woman that's gonna get in the kitchen and clean and cook and now her. I'm babe, we done. You can you can go do dishes now. No. Yes, I don't see I'm just and it's like I don't know. It's certain things like, okay, I feel like when I if I come in the kitchen, I don't like doing dishes, and it does come from being a child <laughs> and having to do dishes. But I also don't like using a dishwasher, so I might not, I might not do the dishes tonight. You know what I'm saying? But they're gonna get done. See, that's me. No, right. I have to dishes in the sink for two weeks. She's lying. <laughs> she is lying. <laughs> she is lying. They like Tisha said they will get done. They will get done, but not, not right tonight. now. Right they tonight, I'm going to bed because my mama ain't here, and ain't nobody finna wake that's me up to my cleaning damn kitchen. When you get home, <laughs> cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right. But it's like okay, if I was to go. A typical night where I'm gonna cook. If there is dishes, I'm gonna clean the. I'm gonna clean the kitchen first before I cook anything. Then I'm gonna cook the food and I'm gonna make everybody plates. I'm normally the person to go behind and do everything. Like I'm gonna clean it back up or whatever the case may be. But I'm also that's like how I was when I was in my last relationship with my baby daddy. He would cook a gourmet meal, but I ain't cleaning up this kitchen. Like you're gonna do it, and I'm like. 
First of all, I was taught to cook and clean as I go. You done dirtied up every single dish in the kitchen. First of all, you use up every dish in the kitchen. I'm like her. I will use one fork, wash it off, and go in between all my meals. She got six spoons. But see, I cook like that, but I'm going to clean it as I go. Like, I got to clean it as I go. No, you don't. You do it at the end. My daddy told me that. <laughs> 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 I definitely said, though, being in a same sex marriage is a lot like being in a heterosexual relationship. We just don't have as many expectations. I mean, I feel like women, I feel like I'm a very overly independent woman myself. Right. And I feel like as a woman, that is a major problem that we have because we do not know how to sit back and let a man be, be a, man. a man. Right. We always take charge. We take over. We got to do this. Well, you know, if him, if he ain't doing it, I do that myself. That's our attitude. That's our mentality. Right. So I feel like with a woman, it just kind of balances it out because I'm not expecting you to do what a man is supposed to do for me. Because you're right. Because you're not a man. I'm doing everything I need to do. You do everything you need to do. And we're just meeting somewhere in the middle. So I feel like we have a lot less expectations. A lot less expectations, but a lot more, I guess you could say, looks or questions that people ask. Like, they just don't understand what it's like for two men or two women to be together. And it's see, it's just thing. not for them to understand. But as, <laughs> as far as, like, you, like you say, when y'all, at the end of the day, y'all are both women. Mm-hmm. But you do take on the male role. You don't think so? Not It depends on the I, I, it, it really depends what we're doing. Like, uh, I may take on a male role as far as going out and about. So when we're out in town, you'll see me open up the door. You'll see me pay for the bill or you'll see me dressed in men's clothing. But other than that, I mean, we kind of, I guess you could say we're versatile. Like, the like men- I say household wise, I'm probably the man in the relationship. Not like as far as money goes, but just as far as like getting some shit handled, it's going to be me. Like... If this needs to, if this person needs to be called, or if this needs to get done, or if this oh, right, right, right. Get, I'm gonna be the one handling right. it, cause you, we know what we're good at. Right. So, like I said, it just it kind of depends on what we're doing. But see, I listen to uh, y'all know I'm a podcast junkie, so I be listening to um, the Love Hour podcast, and they talked about that gender roles in a relationship and stuff, and they said that pretty much certain gender roles, it should be whoever's best at it, yeah. not necessarily. You're the man, so you need to do this. Right. Or you're the woman, yeah. so you need to do that. Absolutely. It's like, if I'm not good with money, and you are, then you should do that. Now, you know what I'm saying? If, we both good at managing money. But, well, that's great. Right. <laughs> but now, I, I am banned from... That was from, so cute, which y'all just... That's, that's, that's y'all little... Oh, yeah. okay. That I'm was banned from cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> I'm just not good at that. What? I mean, I to my standards, it's okay. But she'll come behind me but like... But she's a military, so that's Exactly. Different. So, I know what I'm good at. I'm good at letting her do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, it works. So, you always... But you've always dated women. Uh, I'm, I'm... Yes. Yeah. I oh, okay. I had a couple of boyfriends, but that it was, was fake. to cover up my... Oh, I'm like, it was fake. Yeah, okay. Because I'm like, so do you know how to compare... I mean, can you compare... I mean, you know... Girl, no. I cannot compare me. I'm telling you, I, I, try, I will dog a man out. I don't like <laughs> a man. I don't... It, it ain't nothing personal. I just... I feel like today's men are just trash. I feel like they're weak. Especially yeah. when you have somebody like me who... We can walk past somebody in a restaurant and or walk out... And we go to, this is our car, this is their car. I open the door for my wife. And as a man, you just going to let your wife get in the car and you're not going to open up her door? Like, I feel like this. Not even that, but my wife is like the ultimate, like, gentleman. I call her a gentlewoman. Like, even when it goes <laughs> beyond, beyond opening my doors, like, if we're somewhere and it's an elderly person, she'll be the one to give a her seat. When you got men who right ain't going to do that. Right, right. Or if we're on an airplane, she'll be the one that you go, ma'am, can I help you with your bag? When you got men Aww. standing around, that's right. like... We're not going to do it. Right. right. And I'm like, damn, like, she really does a lot that today's men are not doing. Yeah. I've had a lot of boyfriends, and none of them have matched her chivalrous. Like, period. I think the most I've had is one guy may have opened my door, one guy may have pumped my gas, separate people. Right. Nobody has, like... Done a whole com- yeah. combination. Like, get the flowers. Yeah, I mean, she does <laughs> the flowers. Like, she does... She does as much as tying my shoe in public if it's untied. Or we get home, she's like, give me your foot. She's taking my shoe off. Like, it's just little stuff like that. And I'm like, damn. 
I really miss y'all little and ugly you, self. <laughs> <laughs> and you're saying that just just that just comes natural. I, I think it's just it it didn't come natural. I used to um, it came from a sense of me wanting that, but I knew I was never gonna get it, so I had to give it to somebody else. Cause I oh, always wanted good. to be the one to get proposed to, but right. with the way I guess the the stud that I am, right. Uh, I was never gonna get there. Right. So, so for the when record, I, I proposed to her in the middle <laughs> of the damn mall in public oh. because I knew she wanted it after she she proposed me first. But right. I still got them on one knee. She did in Zales. Me <laughs> 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 still hurt it. Oh God. And I was like, forget it. All these people around, I was like, whatever. And then see I think that's crazy because That was a good compliment. She's so dominant, but she's so feminine. My wife will date right. a stud. So I've heard she's that. like, Yeah, sometimes you know, I want that <laughs> stuff done for me. So we like Usher switch we switch places. Right. There are days where I'd be like, No, I'm gonna open your car door. And I feel so weird doing it because I'm like this girl with a purse, opening her door, getting her, letting her get in the car. But I'm just like, I know she wants that too. So I asked her, I'm like, I'm like, you would be with a stud. Like, what role would you play? I'd be so intrigued. Like, so would you be the boy or the girl? <laughs> and I'm like, I know that sounds like backwards because y'all not supposed to have roles, but. I would just be who I am, the person I am right now. I still dress like this. I'm just. You would be opening his door. <laughs> She's just oh, so petty. Look what was that face? I'm not dealing with you. <laughs> but I will say being in the same sex marriages, it has its, its, its cons and its pros. Because there are some days that I just, I'm like, dang, like, man, I don't want to be a lesbian. Because all the hatred and all the stuff that's going around like that. Because people, I just hear people having their conversations. And there are just some days I'm like, I love this shit, man. Like, I got my wife, I got my rock. Only person who actually contained my ass. So... <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, she we're both like boys. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. It's funny. Girl, Brittany has With to wake skirts. up and be like, we'll be cuddling. She'd be like, This is so gay. Right, because I mean you you're girly. You just she got a low haircut. Girl, right. To me, you're girl she, to me you're girly. What you want to tell how girly I am? You a whole girl right now. Look, I told she the one. Right, she was like, like <laughs> <laughs> it's, a girl. it's funny. She was like, mm, la la la. But <laughs> it's crazy because I'm I'm asking you like, where you taught that? Where did you get it from? Because like you say, like you know, men are not like that in our generation. Uh, so it's like, <sighs> can you teach yourself emotions? And we're going to have a long pause for that one. Uh, no, I really, I, to be honest with you, I really don't think, nobody, no, honestly, nobody has ever taught me. Like, my mom said this with my dad because she had to go to school, and I was just with my dad. I've never seen it. Like I said, I just, I guess watching TV, I guess that's so how So being around your brother's dad, do you think that your brother picked up on those traits? Do you think he's chivalrous? I don't know. I don't, I don't remember my brother enough to, to, I would, I don't know. I have no idea. I would probably say I'm the. You're more sure. Did you see sure your him. stepdad like that with your mom? Did you see Nate like that with your mom? Once again, you know, I. <laughs> um. No. No. I think he's just like a. He's a great man for my. For right, my but like mom. you said, he was a ladies' man. So you saw no, him. No, 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 him. No, no, oh, you're saying. Oh, you're dad. saying my your biological is, father was. The ladies' man. No, 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 no. My biological father is not in the picture. She has okay. two stepdads. Oh, like me. Yeah, okay, like, okay. Like well, me. The man okay. that my mom is currently married to is who she's talking about. Okay. But yeah, he's not. I, he may be shivers, but he's like the the typical man. Like you know, just take my card and go do whatever you want with it. Like. I really. feel like another thing that differs between same sex and heter heterosexual relationships. My wife pays attention to key to detail. She pays attention to me. Right. We were like with her mom and her stepdad and she was like I think she asked her mom like, Does he even have your favorite color? And they've been married for like They've been married for over ten years and, and like, he was she was like, No. Know. Like not, like whatever. Like, yeah. <laughs> she was like, Mom, is he getting you something for Christmas? No. Like <laughs> what? But it's just like for my wife, I can ask her, What's my favorite color? 
purple. Like, well, we all know that. I can ask <laughs> small right. questions, and it's just like, dang, like you, you knew that. Right. I just feel like as women, we just pay or, attention to stuff. Right. Yeah, a lot I don't, more. Yeah, I don't because I can't speak for the the male to male marriages. Well, no, we talking yeah. about them. Okay, yeah, women. For female to female or woman to woman. Yes, I feel like we pay a lot more attention to each other than as versus a. Even yeah. with a man and a woman, because when you're with a man, as a woman, you pay attention to your man, and you're like, oh, yeah. I saw him looking at them socks. I'm going to go back and get them right, socks for right, him. Right, right, right. But that's just a woman's nature. That's just kind of what we do. I don't I don't think men, men and men do that. I mean, some men do that. Um, You know, that's why I said it, it just depends on the person or the character trait. That's what I'm saying. Certain things like, oh, if he doesn't open my door for me all the time, that's not like... Oh my God, he's not a good man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus yeah. like, like that's a pet peeve for you. <laughs> like I can tell it irritated you. Like I'm opening the door for my wife and he's not opening. The- but it's just like certain things. Oh, pumping gas. I- yes, I do feel like if I pull up, if we're pulling up to the gas station and we're in the car together, yes, I do feel like you should pump the gas. But if I'm just not with you. I'm not complaining about not pumping my gas, well, but it was a whole, know. right, but I'm saying, like, it was a whole conversation on Facebook, and some women were like, I don't care if my gas tank is on E, I'm going home, and he can do it. Oh, and I'm like, what? Now, see, I feel like, but you having boys, and I feel like that's the only thing I worry about being in a same-sex relationship, because I do have a daughter, and I do want her to know it's important to, like, or love whoever you love, and I right. should treat you the way that you see when me you being treated, as well as, hopefully, your dad treating his wife. Right. But... What you having boys, I feel like they need to see a man treating you a certain right. way so right. that they can adapt right. to that. Right. Like, I seen the post on Facebook with the guy getting his little girl stuff for Valentine's Oh, yeah, I saw that. Like, as a woman, you know, as a man, he should do that to prepare her. Like, this is what you should expect from right. a man. Right. I even and I, I, I love that like, for her son. Bo- and I love that about both my boys because they're very, like, they pay attention to every little detail of me. It could be a hairstyle. It could be an outfit. It could be nails or toes or whatever the case may be, especially my oldest son. He's so, like, compliments every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mommy, you're so beautiful. Or, Mommy, I like your hair. Or, Mommy, I like your clothes or whatever, whatever. But he does get that from his dad. So it's like with... It's like he's, I watch him teaching my youngest son to do that. So he's like, you know, tell mommy this or tell mommy that. Like I might hear him whispering it to him and then he'll come say it. So now it's funny because he's starting to pick up on it and he's starting to be like, oh, mommy, that's beautiful or whatever, whatever. Like, and then I think I, it was even something like as small as it was just me and him the other day. And somebody was saying something about being a great mom on TV and stuff. And I was like, well, um, do you have a great mom? And then he was, I said, well, what is a great mom or something? He was like, I don't know, but I know I have a great mom. And I was just like, oh, you know, stuff like that sometimes. It could be the smallest things right. to make you feel confident. better. Yeah. Right. Yeah. To make you feel better. And I'd be like, I, I just wanted to stick with them because mm-hmm. we don't have that. You know what I'm saying? In this generation. And, and their generation is going to be worse than what we got going Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Because. Hey, when he growing up, I don't. So do you have requirements that you do require from a man? I don't. You don't have no requirements? No, whatsoever. <laughs> I'm really thinking hard. Like. <laughs> no, nothing. Like, he ain't got to brush your teeth too much. I mean, girl. <laughs> I mean, well, that's like, I hope you would do that. Like, that's he something that you should. Oh, yeah. I need boxers. I hate Please. boxers. I hate them. When I see my boyfriend in those, I'd be like, those are going to disappear. <laughs> I'm going to throw them in the trash. <laughs> if you leave those in the laundry room, they're going in the trash. Okay. But, I mean, no, I don't. And I've been told that, you know, that's not a good thing. But I feel like you have to naturally let a person be who they are and let them do what they want to do. And if that's the person for you, then. But in, is a, in a sense, isn't that settling? I don't think it's settling because if you have expectations, you're going to get let down. Versus if we're dating and then, you know, we're getting to know each other and you do certain things. Like you say, she does certain things that you like. You do certain things that she like. Y'all didn't require that. That's just how y'all came. But see, eventually in a relationship, you're going to have expectations, period. Mm, I mean, I guess so, yeah. you're going to start expecting that nigga to be home by 10. You're going to start <laughs> expecting him to answer his phone when you call. Right. You're going to expect. I mean, those are, yeah. The, that, but those yeah. are still expectations that can disappoint you. Yeah. So I mean, eventually, even if you don't start off with expectations, you're gonna. I can't say. Well, that that's like a pet peeve. Like I can't stand that not answering the phone or not calling me back or like I don't I don't like that. 
<laughs> y'all got, y'all, is, that a, is that a pet peeve? Because y'all, and then, look. Today, and she's just like, I'm like, because you're in the military, like, it's like when you get to know a person, you listen to everything that they complain about. Right. She's told me how her being in the military, she's never had a woman that was like there when she deployed, got back. She never had nobody that was like pretty much available to her. Right. So me hearing that, I make myself completely available to you. Anytime my wife has ever been gone to see, anytime out of a out of a year, anytime she's ever called me, hello, I missed one phone call. Am I right? You're right. One. Oh. I'm available to you. Right. So anytime you need me, if I, I try to be like that. If I can't, can't, right. If I can't answer the phone right then and there, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna right call back. you right back. Now when the sh- but see, I couldn't call her back at sea. It well, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The call, I missed the call. Right. So for me, I'm always like, I don't care if I'm talking to President Obama. One moment, please. <laughs> right. I was always available to her. Now her, on the other hand, right, it's a problem. Oh, well, my phone was on do not start. Oh, well, I got a haircut. <laughs> oh, well, I was asleep. Oh, well, I was in the shower. <laughs> I don't care what you was doing. Girl. I don't, I do right. I don't care if you was in labor. You better answer the phone. That's what I'm right. saying. So for me, I'm the same way. It's a bumpy day. Talk show, you know, we're, don't be sensitive. It's a bumpy day. Talk show. Is that the girl coming out? <laughs> don't be sensitive. But so, we're just like, I mean, but when you have a girl coming out, don't be sensitive. But we're just like, I mean, but when y'all say requirements, I don't. I guess I don't think about it like that. I feel like everybody should have some type of requirement of what they expect somebody to do. Like You're my right. wife doesn't. She expects me not to talk to her in a disrespectful manner. Like, you just have to right. let somebody know, this is what I will tolerate, this is what I won't tolerate. Now, you're right about that, but that I guess. I met yet. <laughs> oh, <my God>. hey. <laughs> on lie. <laughs> on lie. On you heard that, girl? Guess what? The bills getting paid. You ain't paying my bills. So, I ain't paying the mortgage. Yes, you did first for your all, birthday. I got your back. Thank you. Thank you. I got your back. Yes, you did. Let me be clear. My wife has her own set of bills. I have my own set of bills. Until we live in one cohabitat and we exist together, she pays Still her bills. Still found a way to pay my rent and, and your, your rent. rent too. Boop. Mm-hmm. I got your back on that. Girl, you pay one mortgage. I need that. And Some people ain't paying no mortgage. Daughter, and she don't girl. live with Not you. Not trying to throw shade at nobody, but you know. Mm. Mm. He ain't listening anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not in this time. <laughs> so off the leash. <laughs> I don't like those bitches. <laughs> right. But I mean, coming into this relationship because everything I I failed and did wrong in my last marriage, I told myself I'm not going into right, this marriage right. like that. So fuck your favorite color. I need to know your credit score. Right. I need to know: Do you have a savings account? Right. Do you have a retirement plan? Yeah, I if remember you plan that on conversation. Being in the military for the rest of your life, if you don't, what do you have as a backup plan? Right. Do you plan on living up there forever? Like those are things I needed to know because my first marriage was all I love you. Let's get married. Now what we got? Oh, we got put it in my name. All of it. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. So Whoa. you don't have good credit. Oh, she so all his money. Damn. So it was just kind of like. <laughs> I can't do this for the rest of my life. She's petty. I'm like, I can't do this for the rest of my life and not know stability and right. where I'm going to be 10 years from now. Because, like you said, if you're looking for somebody to help you, you need to know that you can depend on that person. Right. And it's like, if I mess up tomorrow, I need to know, BJ, we come to live with you. Right. So, is that okay? You got us? Like, or do I need to go apply at McDonald's because you're not going to be able to hold both of us down. Yeah. And I don't feel like I asked the appropriate, not knocking, you know, that person, but I don't feel like I asked appropriate questions in my last marriage. Right. I was just like, oh, I love you. I think we can make this happen. And that, the first time you marry for love, hopefully your first marriage will be your last. But I feel like the second time you marry, you marry for stability. Mm-hmm. You marry for benefits. Right. You marry for love. And it's a business relationship. And as long as both of y'all understand that. She right. tell me all the time I married her so I could fly free. Cool. Well, I married you so I can get insurance in the military. It works out. Right. Thank you <laughs> for the benefits. Right. It's a right. business. Right. right. Good glad doing business with you. It's a business ship. Yeah. And so I can eat because you know how to cook. I can't cook no more. How you forget how to cook? What? Girl. That is her story and she's sticking to it. You don't know how to, you know, you forgot how to cook. But you forgot how to cook. I mean, how to clean the dish, <laughs> clean the kitchen. Oh, I, mean, I, mean, I just I ain't doing it. I, I just ain't doing it. I'm not going to lie to you. I know if, if, if that had to save my life, I could clean the kitchen. However, but not the I bathroom. Have a nine-year-old. <laughs> 
But that's she has to wash dishes. What? I'm sorry, what you say? I'm just asking. What was your question? She has to wash dishes. Of what? Yes. I'm just saying, I wouldn't trust Jakari to wash a dish no, no, no. in my house. She dishwasher. I allow her to wash Oh, okay. Starts. Okay. Yeah, no, because Riley would probably rinse it off and put it in. No. Right. I'm like, my brother used to do that. I learned after all these years, he was just cleaning stuff with hot water. Oh, God. So, all the diseases, I'm probably going to turn him. All the germs, y'all was slapping up with the plate. And you licking the fork, and it, all it did was be running the hot water. <laughs> But Damn. no, yeah, no. So I mean, we know what we're good at. We know what we have to work on. We know what our weaknesses are. Well, that's good. But that's good in any relationship, not necessarily whether it's same sex or exactly. heter- heterosexual. I had to get yeah. right. Yeah, I stumbled on it too. But I'm just going to say that homosexual. See how much easier that's off the tongue. Homosexual. Just, just say it with me. Homosexual. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just say it with me. <laughs> Damn glasses getting on my nerves. I think the boy in me needs to come out a little bit more because I struggle. I'm too emotional. I'm very sensitive. If I love you and I care about you, anything you say can hurt my feelings. I mean, that you know. Now, if I don't care I'm about like that, you, but you know, that's like only certain people know that. Right. <laughs> now, if I don't care about you, <laughs> right, I can you care say less. The same thing, and I'm gonna be like. And right, I think that's a Scorpio thing. Cause. You so sensitive. Everything I say, yeah, because I care about your ass. Right. So of course, and I'm like, me, I, I got a in my like that's how I am. Like, really? like I'm, I curse so much. I could be, we could be having a conversation, but if I know you're mad at me, do not say a cuss word. I'm gonna be like, don't cuss at me. <laughs> <laughs> you cuss at me. <laughs> do not cuss at me. <laughs> and it's like, girl, what about even cuss? I'm just saying that's just how I talk. But it's just like, no, that's because I know you're. I don't know. I just that's. I don't know. That's I really think that's a Scorpio thing. I just don't like to be talked to in a rough man. Like if I care about I don't you, like you need either. to deal with me in a very fragile way. <laughs> deal with me with respect. I answer all the time. Like if you know, talk to me the way you want a man talking to your mom or your daughter or your sister. Right. Don't be rough and talk to me like that. Right. And I be trying to understand her because let somebody else call me. A black mf Right. She ready to pull a gun out. She ready to fight. <laughs> But when you mad, I could be all type of black and <laughs> and I'm like, oh, so let me get that same gun that you about to pull out. Oh. You ready to talk, Tails? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to go here and listen. Right. Do you, have gender, do you have gender roles in your marriage? Come on, girl. See, I can't talk because I don't have a marriage. <laughs> But you still can have... I mean, no, that's why I said a relationship is a relationship. But when y'all said, do I have expectations, and I couldn't answer the question, it's because... I couldn't think of certain things. I don't think of certain things as an expectation. Like, I just. So, do you expect like flowers or cards or. I don't expect it. I love those type of things. But but if you never got, say you was waiting for a year and you never got it, it wouldn't bother you. Probably yes. So, then you expect it. (laughs) I mean, I guess if that's what you (laughs) want to call it. But that's what I mean by let a person be who they are, and you're gonna eventually know if that's you know what I'm saying what you want or what so you, you don't want. Rather waste your time. Not that it's no, your not time. but that's so, so. Let's say y'all six to seven months dating, and this person is just being somebody who you kind of like. Uh, okay, they're not really doing nothing to really please you. They just being who they are to please themselves. And you like, dang, if I would have just told this man six months ago that I'm like. Flowers and chocolate, you know, every first of the month, you know, that's something he could have been doing for the last six or seven months. Seven right. Years. I mean, no, I get what you're saying, but that's why I say, I mean, I guess I've been told, like, that's a pro and a con about me with other women who sometimes, to me, women just be asking for so much. Like, what are you doing? True. Like, True. Certain I things. I like women be wanting the table, the chairs, the napkins, right. the utensils, and the food, and you don't even have nothing but the salt and pepper. Exactly. <laughs> so, like, with your marriage and all of you guys have a first and a second marriage to compare the difference to. Absolutely. But they've both been married to other women. So, it's like with your husband's, not your husband and your ex-husband, I, I've known that you said, you know, it was pretty much completely different yes. relationships. Night and day. Right. But see, you learn from your first marriage. Exactly. You like, yeah, I'm not gonna tolerate that. Yep. And I need a little bit more of that. So <laughs> there you go. But I feel I don't like deal with that. I, don't I just want to be I married one time. It's funny when y'all were saying That's about ideal. the um the women wanting the cake and the ice cream and all that stuff. I think City has spoiled me. So we was talking about because you brought up a book. 
And I was like, oh, I need that book. Like, I'm one of the women that I, yeah, I don't mind saying mm-hmm. that if I'm shitty, I'm shitty. Right. I don't do enough, I feel like. I don't do enough in my marriage. So, with the gender roles, I feel you like. You said you feel like you don't? I don't. Okay, that's real. Not feel, I know I don't. That's real. I can do way more. That's like, real. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> that's I That's real. Am, right. You know the problem. That's right. the first step to correct you. Right. right. So, he does all the cooking. Nine times out of ten, he does all the cleaning. I just feel like I go to work. Like, I'm always working. So I feel like I'm the man, not to say like he's not, but right. I feel like in my mind, I just want to go get money. So I don't think about the things that so the woman like, is supposed to do. Come on, food needs to be done. <laughs> I worked out, man. But he works too, though. So, right. Yeah, so it's just like, I don't know. I feel like I could be more girly. Okay. But I'm not. What do you mean by more girly? Like I don't do, like, like you said, would you expect flowers and stuff? Like, if he buys me something, I don't, like, I'm not a gift person. Like, he loves food, so he'd be like, I, I, I cooked you this food. And I'm like, okay, like, I eat to live. I don't really get excited about food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get excited about flowers. Eat because like, I'm hungry. Like Have you yeah. and him taking the um, love language quiz? We did, I did that. It. No, I didn't do mine. I got to do mine again. Right, because we did that on the show. It's healthy to take it every six months to kind of see to. what your relationship is like and then what you kind of need to improve on. Mm-hmm. I personally feel like I could clean up more. Mm-hmm. I know I could help with that. I could clean up more. Um... But I know what I'm good at. Right. <laughs> but see, in a sense, because y'all are still, you know, not in the same house. Yeah. Because, you know, you're still in the military and stuff. So it's like, it's like y'all still kind of get to learn. Like, y'all get to visit each other. You get to go yeah. to her house. You get to go to her so house. pet peeves yeah. come out. She's like, I hate when you leave the lid up like this because the water's getting on the... <laughs> I'm like, well, I hate when you take your clothes off and you don't put them up. <laughs> Right, my boyfriend was like, do you notice I dry off in the shower? I'm like, yeah. Like, right, but I like to stand on the towel that's on the floor and then dry off. Yeah, like, I hate getting out the, the, to, a, to a wet rug. I hate that. Yeah. Like, you, when somebody takes a shower before you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, see, yeah, I live yeah. by myself. I don't have anybody else that's going right, to get it. Go. But then I also like the microfiber ones that soak it up so when you get out. Mm, like, I don't like know, when yeah. it's, I don't like when it's wet. Like, on, in, I don't, I don't like People when people walk around the house with no shoes on and stuff like that, it makes my skin crawl. Like, put some shoes on your feet. Even if it's my own house. No, I I mean like house shoes or like I have like sliding. I can't just walk. Even though I have carpet. I have you to have on something on my feet. Carpet don't bother me, but my hardwood, I be walking around like this. Right, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> right, carpet don't necessarily bother me, but the fact of it, I know that eventually I'm going to have to walk on hardwood. I got to yeah. have my slides right. somewhere around. Yeah. But, so y'all, it's like y'all don't have gender roles either, no. basically. Mm-mm. And in my first marriage, we didn't have gender roles. I think. He did all the cooking too. <laughs> so does that tell cook. you that you need to do more, or you just personally feel like that? I feel like that because he does so much. He does a lot, and so sometimes I'd be like, like even for instance, like he thinks when I'm on my phone in the morning, I'm just like on social media. I literally am working. Like I'll like stuff for the station, stuff for my show. I'm always working, working, working. But he sees it like oh, I'm just on my phone. Yeah. So he might get up at like six, six, seven o'clock in the morning, and he's up doing stuff. I might not get out the bed till ten o'clock, but I don't finish all my work. So he just, I think in my mind, I'm like, maybe I should get up when he gets up, cause that look like I'm being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> like I used to be like that. Like, like he might not say nothing. It just be me thinking like maybe I should do this or maybe I should do that. So yeah. I can't say that because when she get up and clean, I be like, "Should I help? <laughs> let me let me straighten this <laughs> right. You feel guilty right, right here? here. I did something bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I did something. Dang. Yeah, that's I how it is. So I just but reading the book, they're talking about um, fight less, love more. Oh, ooh. yeah. Um, I need to get that. It too. definitely that identifies a lot of characteristics about each person in the relationship we'll be arguing and i'm like are you using love words or are you <laughs> that's probably what it's it doesn't matter it helps because i'm like the book but I even get it says though. that you don't need to be like this i think that book will actually help a lot of marriages to see you read that book and it's just kind of like dang i read that book i was like dang i do do i do that 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 and that. but i do negative. feel like that though like mm. you do have to <laughs> you do have to still fight with love me yeah, being absolutely. me being in um an abusive relationship for years and I didn't even notice that I was being you know what I'm saying abused mm-hmm. because I to me 
getting your ass beat every day is yeah. getting the beat. But people felt it versus it's emotional, it's emotional verbal, verbal, you know. And yeah. it was like I got to the point where if I was upset or if anything bothered me, I wouldn't say anything. So now it's like I have to say how you feel. how I feel, and I want you to say how you feel because you know. Let's talk about it. Yeah. It doesn't have to be an argument. Like, I, I don't care to argue anymore in my life. It's like I'm not going to argue, but right. we do need to figure out, you know, right. what's the problem or whatever the case may be. So you do have to fight with love. So, right. like, you you would be like, are you using love words? I'd be like, in my head, shut the fuck right. up. Right. But, but, but it's, it is good because it's a disagreement does not have to be an argument. Yep. It doesn't. Or because you feel one way and I feel one way, it doesn't have to be an argument. Or you don't have to aim to hurt the person. It's like people use your vulnerabilities against you. Right. And it's like, dang, I told you that because I love you. Like, right. You and then you use it, it against yeah. you. Right. So it's kind of like reading the book. And we will read separately. And then we'll say, you know, stop at page 90. And mm -hmm. then we'll go back and be oh. like, well, I highlight, highlighted this in chapter 5. Oh, I didn't. Okay, well, let's talk about why I highlighted right. it. Okay, yeah. why well, I highlighted this. See, okay, that's, well, about why but see, that's what I like because I can't... Somebody asked me something about a relationship or something like that. It, it's crazy because, like, the world just frowns upon marriage so much. Yeah. And it's like... Because it's, it's not successful no more. What? People but, don't fight. See, to me, back in the day... It wasn't successful either. Yeah. They just didn't say nothing. Yeah. To me, they so many women, out. right? So many women just. Um, I was watching a movie the other day, I believe, and the mom was just basically like the husband was pretty much not a good husband, and he was put his put his wife in the hospital and all this other stuff, mm. and the mom was just. So the wife started cheating or whatever, and the mom's friend had seen her out and told her mom or whatever. And her mom was just like, "How could you be around town?" And that, and she was just like, "So you want me to be which how you was and not communicate, not say how I feel, not do this?" And her mom was just like, "Yeah, you need to stick it out." And she was like, "This man put me in the hospital," and her mom's point was like, "No, but you, yeah, whatever, you need to stick it out." And it was just like, "No, like." No, I'm not going to do that. So it was just kind of like watching that movie and then knowing how people are about marriages. I just feel like I feel like marriage is a beautiful thing. Like, mm -hmm. I don't care how the world looks at it. It's bad. It's this. It's that. It's not successful. All marriages are bad and they don't have sex and they're not happy and this person's <laughs> cheating and it for real you know most right. people be like oh when you like get married longer, you ain't gonna get nothing like who right who ain't gonna i'm gonna be mad if i don't <laughs> because people frown upon counseling so hard and it's yep. like if you do premarital counseling or right. you do counseling within your marriage even if you can't afford counseling the book is free counseling right it's telling you right chapter by chapter problem by problem right. do this try See, that, i think this. i mm -hmm. think that that's why i started listening to podcasts so much mm -hmm. and um I, that's why I, like the love our podcast i really really like that's my favorite podcast because it talks they've been married for 15 years so it talks so much mm -hmm. about marriage the only difference is they well the wife has never been with anybody else Mm. The husband has. Oh, mm. So, right, right, right. That was me in my first marriage. Right. So, it's like, but basically, their whole motto is, if you work every day at your relationship, yeah. then it's, it's not going to feel like you're working to fix anything I because I you're doing that every day. And that was what I try to get people to um, understand, like, with marriages. To me, I feel like it can last as long as you want it to last right. if right. you're both willing to, work to fight for it right like, i don't believe in the once you get married you're supposed to stay married because no one should be unhappy like, right exactly. you have your life to live they have their life to live right. if they can't meet you in the middle and y'all can grow together right then you're wasting the the days that you have left. exactly yeah you can stay married quote unquote that don't mean y'all gotta live together right but i'm not gonna stay <laughs> unhappy like if i'm fighting 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 and let's and do this let's fight. go yeah, to you can't fight by yourself i don't want right. to go to counseling can we sit down and talk about it? i don't want to talk about it then That's how are we not a get marriage, it fixed, right? right. So you people, don't stay in that. They always say you treat you treat a marriage and a relationship like a car. A car will last you twenty years if you put gas you in, you change of. the oil when the under the hood need maintenance, you get it fixed, you wash it. Yeah, that car will last you no matter how long you exactly. drive it. You're, you're putting work into it. Mm -hmm. You do this in your relationship, you get it fixed when it's broken, or you put work into it. You keep your relationship oiled up, gassed up. Yeah. You gonna keep going. Yep. So I'm like, no, that's a really valid point. Like you said, it does take work. But I feel like a lot, a lot of, of work. Are but they also say when you do what you love, it doesn't feel like work. Yeah. So if we're, if this is what we want to do, 
it's not gonna it's feel like we're working on nothing. Right. Until you get to one person growing a little faster than the other right. one, and you gotta mm-hmm. catch up. <laughs> yeah. I just like a lot of people are getting. I think I feel like for our black, especially for the black community, because you know we, as a culture, like frown upon so much stuff, or we look weak, like to go to counseling or to right. To even try to get help, you know, we look at each other and be like, so... You want counseling? Right. You counseling? So you crazy? Like, like... <laughs> exactly. I, well, I hate that because I, I feel like, like counseling is great. It, it is. is. And I'm the person who didn't want to talk about anything. Like, when going to counseling, I realized... Because I'm the point the finger type person. Like, no, nah, you did this, so that's why I acted like that. Right. And just, like, going to counseling, it's like, dang, like... <laughs> These two. I'm kind of like, okay, so I did wrong. But this is kind of like going back to the whole marriage thing. After my first marriage, I told myself, I'm not getting married no more. I did, too. That was the first time I was like, man, this is... I married for love. I was like, okay, this is it. You know, we did not meet nowhere in the middle. I was... I think I was infatuated, and that's why I got married to her. And I was mm. like, I'm not doing this no more. Like, right. I can take care of myself. I can make myself happy. I can date. Sleep where I want to sleep with, and I owe nobody. Going back, right? Mm. I love being married. I was like, I can't. But now, to get <laughs> now I love it because once you find that person who really helps you become a better person, you, right? Like you truly are happy. I was, I'm 29 now, but for so many years I've been like so unhappy, and it's just I just wanted somebody to always listen to me. That's all I've ever wanted. Just right. like, listen to me. Mm-hmm. Coming to her, she's like my yeah. She's a great board. person to talk to. Like I'm just kind of like you know, this is what I've been through in my life. And like she just makes me happy, makes me a better person. I'm like, damn, I'm like, I love being married. Don't get me wrong, we have our bad days, right. just like any marriage. But right. she's the same person who, like, you know, don't shut down on me. Like, right. I just talk right. But to you have to communicate, you. right? I I'm, I'm working on that because I was right. shut down completely. Like, don't That's talk me. to me. <laughs> see, and I used to be. Like, see, I used to be like that. I used to be like that. But now it's like I want to talk. I want to know what's going on. I want. I want. I want because. When you look at the situation, like I feel like if you if you know you have a good person that loves mm-hmm. you and you love them, you can work it out. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you know that you need to let go, then you just need to let go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hanging so, on by a string, right? Trying. If you it's know, because it's it's always red flags, and always. I've always known that. You know, in the past, I've always ignored the red flags. Like I see that shit, but okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I can until I get tired. No, not even. Not I could change you. It's just like until I get tired of it, then I'll deal with it. Yeah, uh, See, that, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, now I'm the I can change you type. I'm like no, I can change everything. No, I'm like eventually I'm, I, can get I, tired I never of thought it. I could change me. nothing. I just always felt like when I get tired of it, then I'll leave your ass alone. But now at 32, I don't look at it like that. It's mm-hmm. like I don't. It's like I've learned that if the good outweighs the bad, yep. and I love you, yeah. it can be fixed. Mm-hmm. If the bad outweighs the good, it then you need go. to go. But I also mm-hmm. think it's important to know who you're dealing with and love every single person they become. Because I understand, right? Because if you're gonna grow, years, right? It's gonna be you're not gonna be something she's else. She's not going to be the Hell same no. person. Hell no! I don't even want you and to be I the need same to person. Know how to Thank love you. that know. person. Yep. I right. can't be like, well, oh, I love when you were 29, I loved you like that. I need to learn how to love yeah, you every have to person. Grow. I That's was reading something, it was like, you know, they were married for like 60 years. How did you do it? He's like, I loved all 15 different people that she met. Right. Because, I mean, you're going <laughs> yeah. to change. But you have to grow. Yeah. Because why do I want to accept that? Why do I even want to be with you? the person that you are 10 years later right. you shouldn't even be that same right. person yeah. i'm not that same person so i don't want you to be I that same it also, i'm like me 10 years ago god who right <laughs> now i'm like god god is Everything. dope right right, right. 10 years ago yep. you couldn't tell me jesus mm-hmm. jesus right. you couldn't tell me nothing about god like i'm not hearing that like girl exactly. i'm calling she was hot. i'm ex- doing me like that's what my 14-year relationship was, my 14-year relationship. Like, I think I kept wanting different things, and he kept taking it like, you don't know who you are yet. You keep wanting to do, one day you want to do this, one day you want to do that. Yeah, and because he wanted, I'm growing. Yeah, and yeah. he wanted, like, like, and so it was nothing wrong. We're still cool. We even went and sat together when we went to uh, get divorced. And the judge was like, I see y'all back there laughing and talking. Y'all sure y'all want a divorce? I was like, yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that paper. And we was really, yeah, we was really good friends, but we just didn't, like, you I can't be to with everybody. Right, right. right. And he wanted someone that's going to be at home, go to work, come home with the kids. And oh, we'd be a family and go out together you. on the weekends. Right. <laughs> and I felt bad that I didn't want that. But he was such a good guy. 
I kept like I was like he was a good man just very not for you. For you. That's what I'm it like. You can't, everybody's was not for you, right? Everybody's not for you. Yeah. yeah, he was yeah. very good man. He ain't never cheated. He ain't never did this. He ain't never did that. We just was. That's how I told totally my ex wife. You're a great. You'll be a great woman. You for but somebody not, else, right? But not for me. That I need. Yeah, you know, not me right. and in the middle, we trying mm-hmm. to get it in. We just all back. Right. It's not. We not getting yep. there. That's so yeah, I definitely agree with that. Right. You gotta know who you dealing with. Yeah, mm-hmm. and when you know what you're dealing with, you deal with it accordingly. Yeah. Exactly. But it just sucks when you have to kind of make up for what a person's been through. Like, I try to love her in every way that her past didn't love right. her. Mm. Right. And that, I think, is kind of hard at times. Because it's like, damn, I got to go ten times harder because nobody, damn, they didn't give you this. Right. They, didn't, they didn't listen. I think the they only thing that I pay attention to, like, from all the things that I've been through in my past is signs of abuse or disrespect. Mm-hmm. I run from that fast. Like, if you even look like you finna open your mouth to <laughs> call me that B word. Mm-mm. Because I told myself once before that I would never be with a man who called me a bitch and did this and did that. And then I met a man that was 30 times worse than that. And it's like, from the first time you called me at my name, I should have stuck to what I said I would never deal with yeah. before. Mm-hmm. But because yeah. I loved you, I tolerated it. And it didn't do nothing but get worse and get worse and get worse. And that's one thing I'm afraid of. I, that disrespect, I'll never deal with that again so it's like anything else pretty much we can work through like i might even be able to work through infidelity but disrespect that's how i feel i um, cannot i cannot i cannot until it faces me right so it's like i don't want to continue to be disrespecting when i grew up in a house with that i don't want my child to grow up in a house i don't want her to think it's okay to be be exactly that Right or you know to be to all just shut the f up like, right no so, right yeah right I agree with you on that yeah. I'm more liable to forgive you for infidelity than yeah <laughs> yeah but to me that's like know. that's a major like I, because, because, I don't even right right like human. Like, if we be I mean for fifty years if you didn't cheat on me you need a damn Grammy <laughs> <laughs> right you ain't right you ain't right, you ain't right. Like, but see on, I man. can't I can't I think I can't say that because you know. When I was younger, oh, whatever. Cheating was like, okay, who cares? Right. But at this stage in my life, it's like, who has time to entertain you and entertain you and go right. here and do this and do that? No, I don't got time for that. During your 30s, you was listening. Right. My knees hurt chasing your ass. Right. I don't got <laughs> I time. <laughs> right. I don't have time to entertain you. You. No, I don't. I don't. Yeah. It's like, I really grown out of the person that I used to be. Right. So... It's like, you know, just listening to same-sex marriage. Marriage is marriage to me. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's still a foundation of love. You still have to work. You still have to do this. You still have to do that. Mm-hmm. And I really don't feel like it should be no gender roles. Yeah. I really. Right. Unless you're like a caveman or a caveman. Once you find woman. your purpose and you live in that purpose. Right. right. It makes everything. Whether it right. be a parentship, your job, your relationship, so much easier. Exactly. Because you're in your purpose. Right. I just, I don't nobody like, want me in the kitchen <clears throat> every day. <laughs> I just feel like in the same way like, that yikes. people will respect the heterosexual relationship, they should respect. They, respect, the they should re- respect the homosexual relationship and I, or marriage. And I say that because if you see a man and a woman walking down whatever holding hands, you automatically assume they're, they're together. Ma- right. Whatever, married, boyfriend, girlfriend, right. dating, right. whatever. You're not gonna have the audacity to walk up to. Some people will have the audacity, but you're not gonna. Not saying you're not gonna walk up to them like, hey, you know, excuse me, you know, you looking good. Can I get your number? Over hey, here, no. we walking, holding hands. Dude, come up and be like, so what's up? Talking. To, can I get your number? But like, you what's see, up? that's saying, because that's trying, right, that's man. so disrespectful. That's but men, for some reason, don't like studs, or they feel like you know y'all or whatever y'all. And I'm like, that is. What is that disrespect is disrespect because if that was your woman, yep. you would never want ain't no ain't no other man finna walk up to you while you with your nigga and be like, Hey, what's up? Can I get your number? Like, what? Exactly. But because you're a woman, man. it's like, oh whatever. Mm-hmm. They don't so we I do agree. Just had that happen. We were it should be taken hands, serious. The guy was like, you know, what's up, beautiful? Like, and I'm just like that's my <laughs> wife. Like, right. <laughs> hello. Like, like, she got a ring on her finger, like, God damn, like I had that's one thing like at the end That's of the day, crazy. it's marriage is marriage, or we're together. Like right. disrespect is disrespect. disrespect right. Respect whatever people have going. You may not agree with it. I don't agree with the heterosexual community. Right. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm, not gonna, right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna walk up to an old man and like you know, excuse me, you know, you looking real cute today. You know, you might know, I have your number talking to his woman. Right. Like, right. Can you move over? Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm about to talk to her like move. Like, right. Like, like, no, I just right. At the end of the day, respect everything. Yes. Right. 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 Definitely. Right. Well, this was a great conversation. 
thank you guys so much for joining me. And thanks for the insights. And I hope you all that were listening enjoyed our conversation tonight. But it's 10 o'clock and we got to get out of here. And I I want to go home. Right. Right. But thank y'all. Right. Please pray for that. Okay. Yes. Well, no, Tanisha, not Leela. But yeah. Um, Right. She's two different people. But yeah. (laughs) Definitely not. But, but um, yes, for, you know, y'all have been tuned in to Keeping It Real with Leela Live on the best internet radio station in the world. Hits 92.3. Yes. Hey. And we're out of here. Oh, y'all man. Get, get points, though.